I'm Angie Erickson. I'm the Director of Finance and Administration at Heartland. And I'm going to give you a brief review of the financial activities for the co-op over 2008. <clears throat> Revenues for 2008 were $18.5 million. Cost of power was $10.5 million. So if you see that the, what we pay our su power suppliers constitutes 57.2% of our total revenues for 2008. After all, operating costs and non-operating margins are factored in, which constitutes 35.2% of total margins, total revenues, but we ended the year with a net margin of $1,410,021. Because we are a cooperative, those margins are allocated to our members. And your 2008 allocation was shown on your March bill. Growth in kilowatt sales Kilowatt hour sales was up 6.5 percent from 2007 to 2008. Looking back three years, sales have increased 16.4 percent. There are several key ratios that indicate the financial condition of a cooperative. We'll look at three of those this evening. The equity level, as a percentage of assets, measures the extent to which co-ops members have financed to plant and other assets with their own funds as opposed to borrowing those funds from a financial institution. This equity level is the percentage of total assets that the members actually own. For Heartland, the members own 38.9% of total assets. Tier, or times earned interest ratio, times interest earned ratio, measures the co-op's ability to earn margins sufficient to cover the interest expense on long-term debt. Tier for 2008 was 2.61, which is significantly better than the 1.25 required by our loan contracts. Debt service coverage measures the co-op's ability to generate funds to cover its principal and interest payments on long-term debt. Heartland's debt service coverage for 2008 was 1.96, again higher than the 1.25 required by our loan contracts. In 2008, capital additions totaled over $3 million. Capital additions are funded either through loan funds or through equity. Loan funds in the amount of $881,707 were drawn, with the remaining $2 million of equity capitalization. 2008's capitalization was not typical due to limited availability of loan funds as we completed an existing loan and prepared to enter into a new loan in 2009. Typically, we see around a 60% loan capitalization rate and a 40% equity capitalization. Property taxes for 2008 were $594,323. That's an increase from 2007 of 6.11% and an increase over three years of 26.8%. Early in 2008, we sold an unused building in Mound City to Lynn County. Uh, that building had been rented to Lynn County for several years, and the sale price on that building was $40,000. In December 2008, our board approved a general retirement of capital credits. The total retirement was $640,755.64, with the average check to the member of $61.15. Each year, we undergo an audit of our financial records. For the past several years, the firm of Dreyer & Kelso of Mission, Kansas, has conducted that audit. The report issued by the audit firm for this most recent year was favorable, indicating no material weaknesses and no material misstatements. In all, 2008 was a good year for Harland financially, and we look forward to a better 2009. Thank you.